change plan here. We're gonna go for just a quick ride on my, actually my favorite probably wheel. Um, you know, all things considered, uh, with general purpose, uh, my favorite wheel. I'm just gonna ride a couple minutes, you know, loosen up, and then I'll get my uh, nine bot out. Let you see that new little toy. So this wheel comfort is number one. You know, it's much easier. To, this is the deal. So I, I think I got these down to forty dollars shipped. Is what I was going to do these for. You see, they're not tall at all, but they were designed with me in mind to go underneath a Roland Z cover without looking strangely pregnant or without getting in the way because I really do climb all over this wheel. So I guess hit me up if you have any interest in those pads, but that's not what this is about. This is just me out here riding. Blah, 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 blah. So nice. It's windy today. Woo! Get down. So much wind. <laughs> Stay skinny. Yeah, it is windy today. All right, I got a new toy. I got a nine bot Segway nine bot or uh, hell, I don't nine bot S. I uh, got the smaller model because it was one cheaper. It goes fast enough, and I wanted it to stay light enough to easily carry. So this was the smaller of the versions. Uh, she still won't get on an electric unicycle after over three years, but. From what I can tell standing on this, it is similar. The only difference is, well, not the only, but one of the differences on a unicycle is you lean to turn. This one you have to actually physically do it with the knees, but since she doesn't know how to ride a unicycle, she's not confused by it. Me, I've noticed uh, if I get off my unicycle and start to ride this off, I try to lean to turn and I fall off because it does not care how you lean. You have to actually hit the damn bar. So it just takes a moment to remember. I've already fallen off this a couple times just simply because I tried to turn right <laughs> by leaning and you don't turn by leaning. But yeah, this thing is uh, kind of empty. Uh, my wife's already ridden it and within about two to three minutes, she was able to drive down to the church she likes that the speeds are slower, which I don't mind for her. And uh, it's just simple. The app worked fine. I can monitor the speed, do tours and set it and all that. But really, I just like things that are simple. Just hit the power button and go. I went ahead and got the upgrade, the Swallow Bot upgrade for this. And it gave me about three mile an hour, more top speed. Uh, so far, I think I've hit 14 and a half mile an hour or something but the battery wasn't full. I didn't get the upgrade for the intent of going faster overall. Sure. It was just the tilt back on this was way conservative. It's not an electric unicycle by any means. It's a boring video. I'm not gonna say much about the uh, nine box. They've been around forever. The new models, however, got more expensive, of course. Everything's gotten more expensive now. I feel it. Oh, that'd be. That's top speed on this thing. But honestly, that's not what I got this for. Hey, one thing that screws you up, woo, is when you're going backwards, it turns wrong way. Again, sorry about the uh, boring video. But this is what I do. So, thanks for watching. Be good to each other, should you so choose. Get your vitamin C and uh, peace out.